King County detectives are warning grocery stores and shoppers about a new crime trend where thieves are laundering huge amounts of cash by buying gift cards. Cairo 7's Gary Horker is live at a QFC with details. And Gary, they say sometimes the scam begins out in the parking lot. Yes, specifically in the parking lot of QFCs where they're targeting these stores specifically, Steve, because of something they're still allowing that police want them to stop. But first, they might pluck your purse or a wallet right out of this, maybe a parking lot, it could be a shopping cart, and then they'll take your credit card and make a beeline right for the gift card section, and they can rack up $5,000 in credit card bills in a few moments. King County detectives want you to check out the man wearing the Seahawks hoodie here walking into a QFC. They say he goes directly back to the gift card section. He picks out several of them where he's going to buy with a stolen credit card. Now that's their suspect walking around the floral department to sort them out. Then he takes all those gift cards covered up with a Christmas card to the self-checkout stand where they say he charges up several thousands of dollars from one stolen credit card. They're specifically targeting stores of self-checkouts and they're grabbing gift cards and they're going through the, the self-checkout because nobody's going to be there to check the ID of the stolen credit card that they're using. King County detectives tell us this exact scam has happened in Fred Myers and QFC specifically 50 times recently. Now this Kent QFC was where detectives gathered up this video of a suspect charging gift card after gift card. The sheriff's office is trying to urge those stores to only allow gift card purchases from an actual cashier. The cashier is supposed to check ID on a credit card. So this would really eliminate or at least minimize the amount of credit cards, uh, stolen credit cards that are being used to buy these gift cards. Back live here at the QFC, that suspect, by the way, left that Christmas card behind. They're still looking for him because he has all kinds of gift cards. Detectives say those stores lock up everything from baby formula to razor to liquor, but it's open season on gift cards, so they're strongly urging all of these stores, including the Kroger Company, which is Fred Meyer and QFC, to not allow any gift cards in the self-checkout. They want the IDs to be checked in the manned aisles. And we're live in North Seattle tonight. I'm Gary Horker, Kyra 7 News.